First on five, we are looking at the groups bidding on the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. The Alabama Department of Transportation wants to charge drivers as much as $6 a pop to pay for the project. As News 5's Bill Riles reports, whichever group is chosen stands to make a substantial profit from their investment. Three groups of companies are preparing proposals to build the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project. Those concessionaires, as the Department of Transportation calls them, are I-10 Mobility Partners, Gulf Coast Connectors, and Mobile River Bridge Group. Whichever group is the winning bidder stands to make a considerable profit from the $2.1 billion or more investment. You're talking about just shy of $10 billion. Mm -hmm. Well, that's entirely too much profit. Most of the companies making up the bidding groups are international companies. The lead companies of I-10 Mobility Partners and Gulf Coast Connectors are based in Spain with offices in the U.S. Southland Holdings is one of the lead companies that make up the third group, Mobile River Bridge Group. It's based in Texas. That group also includes another company we've reported on before, Fig Bridge of Florida. Fig Bridge designed the pedestrian bridge that collapsed in Miami last year. I think it's important to note about the Fig firm that that is a firm with a long and really storied history in the construction of large bridge projects. The bridge that collapsed was actually not in their specialty space. Fig was the designer of four bridges in our area, including the Dauphin Island and Garcon Point bridges. Proposals from those groups are due in December. Well, the ultimate decision will be made by the Toll Road Bridge and Tunnel Authority. They will receive advice from ALDOT in making that decision. The Toll Authority was created by the legislature and is headed by the governor. Of the nine members, only two have any connection to the Gulf Coast, State Senator Greg Albritton and the governor's current chief of staff, Joe Bonner, the former District 1 congressman. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.